All right, everybody. Um, kind of enjoying these end of day wrap ups. They help me sort of process what's happened during the day. And I want to say at the uh, at the outset, we are planning a pretty important tweak to um, to slope, which I want your feedback on. Very eager for your feedback. Um, so look for that either today or tomorrow. I'll do a video, but uh, I want you to watch the video and give me your feedback. So there's that. All right, so back to the markets. Um, this is day four of the biggest trading week of the year, and uh, things are looking pretty good for the for the superheroes known as equity bears. Uh, this is yesterday, of course. We had the uh, Fed announcement. We had Jerome Powell wimping out and hinting that uh, inflation, they'll just redefine it like governments tend to do. They'll just redefine it to their to their liking. So that got people excited. And then it sank again because that doesn't really instantly solve any problems, does it? And the cool thing is today, it just pretty much sunk. Uh, nothing dramatic, no big announcements, but it was just pretty weak all day. You know, look, look at that. Down and down. Is that beautiful? Is that marvelous? Down and down. Economic reports come out lower and lower. And so on the whole, and this is the really exciting part, this was the line. I'm like, gee, I hope one day in my life we can break this. And the very next day, it breaks. Down we go. Down, down, down. Mm, delicious. So a very good day. Down triple digits on the ES. Down almost 500 on the NQ. Red all over the place. Crude oil down hard. Just a delicious, delicious day. Um, as we look to this scale, we can see that the bears have had three tremendous achievements. Uh, one is that we have battered away below this trend line. Two, we have sunk below this supporting line. And three, we have sunk below and have stayed below this line, which is the most important of them all. Um, and this is the bigger picture. Friday is, uh, you know, OPEC stay, um, quad witching. I think I read $4 trillion of notional value expiring. Could be a little bit dynamic. But the cool thing is that this top here is a beauty. It's a right triangle top, and we are below it. And it just really just opens up. It just opens up all this stuff that's happened since October 13 for us to chop bull head off, heads off. Um, if we get down there, you know, uh, who knows what's next. But uh, the next really, I think, strong mash of support is around here, around this area. Um, I mean, I don't think it's going to go down a straight line. It never does. But we might get like a drop, a retrace back to the line, and then a harder drop, something along those lines. And I think 2023 is going to be a great year. I mean, we came into 2022 with the Bulls, you know, having dominated for decades. And all the, the pump and dump bros are riding high and buying their Lamborghinis. Now they're in jail. Uh, SBF was the celebrated $30 billion genius. Now he's heading to prison. Um, Kathy Woods was celebrated as a genius lady investor person. And she's been exposed as, you know, just stumbled onto a lucky era brief, briefly with tech stocks, and she doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Um, massive underperformance against the likes of the spider, for God's sake. So just no clue. Uh, so a lot of idiots, crooks, charlatans, uh, wannabes have been exposed. And uh, we're just starting. 2023, we're going to accelerate this. It's going to get hotter, fiercer, more bloody, uh, more exposés, uh, more fabled people brought down to the land of the living and shown for what they are. And so you've got the last honest guy in finance uh, here on Slope walking us through this. So I think it's going to be, you know, this bear market's going to be just a, one for the ages, one of the biggest of all history. Very exciting. The NQ has also failed. Uh, we have here what would have been past tense, uh, the last best chance for our bullish friends to really run with this market. 
And uh, that was, of course, after the CPI. And they have completely dropped the ball, um, as you can see. Um, so here we have this. This is quite obviously a completely failed bullish breakout. This is not going to do what I feared, which was one of these cute things right here, or this one. It's just flopped. And there is a dearth of economic news to move things at this point uh, through the balance of the year. Uh, and I think the, the next kind of really big era coming up will be several weeks into January when earnings or losses uh, start coming out. And then, then, then we could just crank this bear market into fifth gear by that point. In the meantime, I want to squeeze as much out of this lemon as I can. Um, as I have mentioned, I'm still super, still, I'm, I'll be bearish on crude oil for a long time. Uh, but uh, energy uh, is a key uh, sector for me for my bearish positions and my premium members um, are uh, aware of those specifics as well as some other interesting plays I've got going on. Uh, I don't know, not much else to say. Let me peek at the VIX, see what's cooking over there just briefly. Yeah, it's just banging around here in the lower 20s. Um, you know, wake me we're in the, when we're in the 40s again. Uh, this is just bargoon time as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I actually deposited a, a meaningful amount of cash into my portfolio recently so I can have more buying power. I've been getting uh, quite heavy uh, in my positions lately. And uh, again, my premium members have access to all that. So I'll just end it there. Uh, it's been a, it's, uh, I've been delighted how well this week's going. The terror, the horror that the bulls uh, dreamed to inflict upon us have failed. Uh, and, uh, I'd like us to just, you know, put a bow on it on Friday. So, uh, fully positioned still and, uh, things are going quite well. So that's it. And again, I'll, I'll let you know about this new page we've got, which is quite important once it's ready.